Sometimes you just got to see life with a little tilt. What am I talking about? Let's jump into this together and I'll explain. Welcome to this episode of Design Talk by DIY3DTech.com. This episode, I want to share with you how I designed this simple bracket in Fusion 360 to solve a home automation problem I was having. So one of the things, I've talked about it on this channel before, uh, over the past year or so, we built a new house, and one of the things I'm doing is installing a home automation system in it. So I'm using the Habitat Elevation as the core, and one of the things I want to do is integrate the garage door. Now I have a Chamberlain garage door, and with the Habitat, I'm able to use some open code to access the APIs to control it. But what happens is the door doesn't feed back its status. So I can send something to the uh, MyQ API, which controls the door, controls the, the app on my phone, talks to that API to control the door. But however, I can't query the door to see if it's open or closed from the API. For those wondering, an API is an application programming interface you use to talk to things typically over the web or something like that. Now with that, what I did is I picked up this Z-Wave tilt switch. And the way that this works is it's got a small tilt switch in here, this uh, little gold device that sits at an angle. And notice it's turned back a bit because the cover goes on here. And so what happens is a BB or a small ball bearing in there that rolls back and forth. So as the door goes up, it rolls back this way. However, the piece is the door pretty much has to be open for this to trigger because of this angle. Now the piece is if I want to roll up the door just a little bit so I get air in underneath in the summertime, it's still going to show as the door is closed because this is not going to tip back far enough to engage it. So for example right there, if I put this on the top, this is probably about the best angle it's going to be if I open it a couple inches for airflow. Well I want it to actually go all the way so when the top panel of the door is partially open or partially up, I get an you know open signal. So to do that, what I did is I designed this um, 60 degree angle bracket. Now I'll throw this out on Thingiverse if you guys want to do the same. It's an easy you know, pickup, you print it out. I printed this out of PETG. The garage gets warm in the summertime here in Michigan. And so I wanted something that you know could take the heat. PETG should be fine. So basically what happens is this will mount on here. Now I didn't predefine or design any holes here so it's available to use in you know multiple different brackets because what I intend on doing is use this back plate and just screw into it to hold it in place but the piece is as this mounts here it only has to tip about 30 degrees to fire or disengage that ball bearing in there from its sensor so the door will show open when the, the upper panel which is the first panel to tip uh, you know, to activate the sensor in here and transmit a signal to the habitat. So with this, again, real simple design, and I kind of wanted to share just the idea. So when you're looking at a problem, you know, you know, how can you solve it? And this is one where I use 3D printing, Fusion 360 to come up with a simple design. Now I designed this in four small holes to attach the garage door. You know, you could use double-sided tape, you know, really good stuff if you wanted to. Um, but anyways, hopefully this has, you know, inspired you to do some thinking. Maybe you have a similar problem like this that you want to solve. And 3D printing is a good choice to help you solve it. So with that, swag shop up in the corner. Don't forget to like and subscribe below. And we'll catch you in the next video where we design something else cool. Got any other cool home automation ideas? Hit me up in the comments. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.